In today's video, we're going to explore how to create a virtual desktop using Windows Sandbox in Windows 10 or 11. Whether you want to test software or browse the web safely, this feature can be incredibly useful. Let's dive right in. Before we begin, make sure you have Windows 10 Pro, Enterprise, or Education Edition, or Windows 11 Pro or Enterprise Edition. Also, ensure that your system meets the minimum requirements for Windows Sandbox. The first step is to enable Windows Sandbox on your Windows 10 or 11 machine. Open the Start menu and search for Turn Windows Features On or Off. Click on the appropriate result to open the Windows Features dialog box. In the Windows Features dialog box, scroll down and find Windows Sandbox. Check the box next to it, and then click OK. Windows will install the necessary files, so make sure you have an active internet connection. When it's done, make sure to restart your computer. Now that Windows Sandbox is enabled, let's launch it. Again, open the Start menu, and this time, search for Windows Sandbox. Click on the result to open the Windows Sandbox application. The Windows Sandbox window will appear, resembling a fresh Windows installation. It's completely isolated from your main system, allowing you to experiment without any risk. At this point, you have a virtual desktop within the Windows Sandbox. Feel free to install any software or browse the web without worrying about affecting your primary system. When you're done using Windows Sandbox, it's essential to close it properly. Any changes made within the Sandbox won't be saved, so be sure to copy any necessary files before exiting. To close the Windows Sandbox, simply close the application window, and the Sandbox will be terminated. This ensures that any potential threats or malware within the Sandbox are discarded. And there you have it. You now know how to create a virtual desktop using Windows Sandbox in Windows 10 or 11. This powerful feature allows you to test software, browse securely, and keep your main system unaffected. Give it a try and let us know what you think in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials. As always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.